Oman is a large country, perfect for those who've got the time to explore. Most visitors base themselves in Muscat, but the rest of the country is now opening up to tourism too. In the far north, for example, there's the Masandam Peninsula, 370 miles of dramatic coastline with rugged cliffs and fields. It's especially popular for diving. I've earmarked Mussendam for my next visit, but this time I headed in the opposite direction to the Dofar region in the south. The south of the country, in and around Salala, is very different from the arid north. It's very, very lush, as you can see, especially after the rainy season in the summer. It's June, July, August. The monsoon comes and creates all this Garden of Eden. It's very beautiful. You can not only see all these wonderful fruits growing in this area, but you can buy some from a number of roadside stalls all the way along here. I'm going to buy some of these bananas. Another famous attraction in the south is the harvesting of frankincense. We all know it as one of the gifts of the three kings of the Orient. But what exactly is it? My guide Abdullah explains. Frankincense, actually, it is a resin coming from the trees. We use it for burning in, in our houses, for the religion services, as well as medicine. I heard that it's as valuable as gold in the old days. Why was that? Why was it so expensive? It was expensive because, because of the transportation charges. From here to, uh, to Egypt, they used the caravan of camels. And how long did that take? Oh, that? Almost all, around 18, 18 months, maybe more. So, Abdullah, can you show me how they actually harvest the resin from the tree? Yes, here you are. You find it. this is a frankincense tree. First, they have to cut it, the trees like this. Just and cutting the bark? In the bark, yeah. So once you already cut the bark, immediately the resin will come out. Oh, yeah, I can, so, I can see it already there. Yeah. yeah. They will come back, let's say, another few days, almost one week or two weeks. They collected the pieces, as you can see over here. This is the one already cut it in a few days ago. They dry it in the sun for another one or two weeks to be ready for burning. And the place to come and buy your frankincense is in the Salala Souk. And here we are. Hello. Hi. Frankincense is this good. This is not the best. Yeah. Okay, so this is the best. This is second best. Yeah. Okay, how much is this one? This one real. One real? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take one of these. The Souk is at the very heart of every community in Oman and a great place to come and mingle with the locals. As well as incense of all kinds, there are other souks specialising in everyday goods and a special interest to tourists, the silver souk. Salala and the Dofar region is growing fast. There are already some big name hotels in the area. And many more are popping up along the coastline as its reputation develops. Being cooler and greener than the north, it's especially popular with locals during the wet summer months. You can visit at any time of the year, but the surrounding area with its waterfalls and waters is particularly beautiful once the rains have finished in the autumn. 